Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Jeff. Today, we're going to share our top 10 user research tools for UX designers. Throughout this video, you'll get to know some of the most popular research tools in the industry. We'll cover tools for a variety of different research methods, so you'll come away with a pretty well-rounded overview. First though, let's recap on what exactly user research is and why it's so important. User research is a crucial part of the UX design process. In fact, UX researcher is a job title in its own right. But even if you consider yourself to be more of a UX generalist like me, you still need to have an understanding of user research and the methods it involves. So what is user research? I like to think of it as an investigation into my target users. It's all about gathering data and feedback in order to understand your audience. With the help of various user research techniques, you'll set out to identify your users' needs, behaviors, attitudes, and pain points. User research takes the guesswork out of UX design. It puts your design project into context and helps you understand the problem you're trying to solve. Most importantly, user research makes sure you are designing with real insights and facts in mind, not just assumptions. So, what are some of the best tools for conducting user research? Let's find out. Surveys and questionnaires are a key user research method, so you'll need a trusty survey tool. Typeform is a firm favorite in the design world, not least because of its user-friendly interface. It's a web-based platform that makes it easy to collect and share data. The great thing about Typeform surveys is that they present the user with one question at a time, just like a real conversation. Collecting both quantitative and qualitative data has never been easier, whether it's feedback about a new product or simple demographics. Another great thing about Typeform, you can try it out for free with a basic account. Ah, Google. It wouldn't be a top tools list without Google. Google Sheets and Google Slides are especially handy for organizing your research. I use Google Sheets to organize and share data within the design team. Then I use Google Slides to present our research insights to other teams. As we all know, people are not excited about digging through long blocks of text. So company presentations are one of the best ways to tell the story of user research. And this tool allows you to create presentations in a very digestible way. And you can easily share them with the whole company once you're done too. We all know there's a lot of organization involved when it comes to conducting user research. Scheduling user interviews, sending out confirmations and reminders. But let me tell you about Pow Wow. Pow wow is a scheduling app that will help you keep on top of things. It syncs with your Google Calendar and allows research participants to book their own sessions, depending on the slots you've made available. This is great for more specific bookings, such as in-person interviews or longer testing sessions, as you can be flexible with the length of each booking. To quote Pow Wow, this tool lets you spend more time focused on your research and less time on scheduling. Another really useful scheduling tool is You Can Book Me. This is great if you want to book as many meetings as possible, as it allows you to be booked anytime your sync calendar shows that you're free. It automatically detects time zones, which is a real lifesaver when it comes to booking remote meetings. With the free version of this tool, you get unlimited bookings with one synced calendar. I use You Can Book Me to arrange initial 30-minute interviews in the first few weeks of a project kickoff. So you've already got a concept and are starting to fine-tune the design. Now you need a tool like Usability Hub. Usability Hub is a remote user research platform that lets you run first-click tests, surveys, preference tests, and more. You simply upload a mock-up of your designs to be tested on real users. You can use your own research participants or recruit suitable users from the Usability Hub panel. It's not always possible to conduct user research in person, so you need to have a backup plan. Remote user interviews are a great alternative, but only if you have a reliable video tool. My personal favorite is Whereby. Not only is this tool extremely user-friendly, it's also browser-based, which means that guests don't need to register or join. All you need to do is share the digital venue with a simple URL. You can hold video meetings with up to four people at once and share your screen if you need to. Most importantly, the live video quality is awesome. I use Whereby together with a tool called Vidyard. Vidyard is an excellent Chrome plugin that lets you record video and audio, and it hosts it for free. This is really useful when it comes to watching the sessions back and making notes. Want to see how users interact with your product? Use Hotjar. It's got loads of handy features which will show you how your designs are performing. 
use heat maps to see where your users click, and gather feedback through surveys and polls. You can even watch recordings of user testing sessions in action. When it comes to digital design, you want to see how users interact with your product, right? How do they behave on your website? Where do they convert and where do they bounce? Now, there's nothing stopping you giving your users the UX they deserve. Qualitative research can get messy. You've got post-it notes and scraps of paper all over the place, and you somehow need to piece it all together. Sound familiar? Well, fear not. There's a tool for that, Reframer. Reframer provides a clean, clutter-free space for taking notes during user research sessions. Afterwards, you can use a tagging tool to tag your notes. And then there's a theme builder tool, which helps you quickly identify recurring themes and patterns. If you're struggling to structure your UX research, this tool is a must. A similar alternative to Reframer is Considerly. When it comes to research, it's important to preserve your findings beyond the project. We're all familiar with the chaos of trying to locate those long lost files on a shared drive. So Considerly have come up with a solution. This tool makes it easy to create a shareable UX research repository. One of my favorite features is the auto tagging function, which automatically determines the sentiment of the user quotes, tagging them as positive or negative accordingly. Considerly is currently in beta mode, so watch this space. Last but not least, the good old post-it note. A true UX design staple, post-it notes are a must-have tool when it comes to conducting research. There's nothing more satisfying than filling up a huge blank wall with your research observations. Don't get me wrong, digital tools are great, but I find the act of physically and visually organizing my findings really helps me to gain clarity. If you're serious about UX, make sure you've got a pack of post-its within reach at all times. So there you have it, our top 10 user research tools for UX designers. For more tips and insights, head on over to the Career Foundry blog, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.